Hello everybody and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host. And if I'm laughing so much, it's because my husband and I were discussing about whether I should dye my beard white or not. What do you think? Let me the comments down there. Anyway, um, today I bring you an unbooking. We're gonna take a review of the little book of Battle Mats Dungeon Edition, which um, is an absolutely cute, cute little thing that I've received a few days ago, but without having looked at it inside yet, is this actually worth the amount of money that you have to pay to get your hands on it? Welcome to the GMS Magazine RPG Unbooking videos. These battle maps, um, they are meant to serve a very specific function, which is to bring you battle maps that you can bring on the table, lay completely flat, they're completely wipe erasable and you can just take them pretty much anywhere. Uh, they do have a larger edition of these maps, but they have now this absolutely cute, cute little thing that you can put in absolutely any handbag, which is wonderful but i i haven't looked at what is like it inside so i'm just going to open it because i've been gagging to do this for a few days since i got this uh, and, and i think this is um this is going to steal my little cartographer's heart away this is a hardback uh, which is pretty good um don't know if it is necessary but that's what it is and i like it because you know protection does help be careful with this um because they can bend a little bit but then that's you just have to be careful with it and this is meant to be you know for battle so we'll get battled up um one inch squares which is uh perfectly standard oh this is very plasticky look at the shine of this thing when i you know what it means, right? That this is going to erase and wipe very, very easily. <gasps> I like this. This is very bright and I hope your screen can actually see how beautifully bright this map actually is. I, I like the texture, uh, photorealistic texture to it. And one thing I'm liking an awful lot is how they are choosing and deciding how the grid itself appears against a background or another. That is excellent. And if that continues throughout, it's going to be very good. And it seems that, oh, very good attention to detail. I love it. I absolutely love how these tiles, they don't need the, the grid. So they don't have it there because it would be redundant and great attention to detail. I mean, I'm not going to go through every single map, but well, maybe I, I am very quickly. I love these. They look gorgeous. They are repeating an awful lot of the textures, but that's absolutely fine because that gives some sense of continuity to the dungeon that you're meant to be exploring. And you have a very nice variation of locations. This is very, uh, jokes aside, this is very cleverly observed and I do like an awful lot how they, they have very cleverly chosen when to put textures, when to put the grid, when not to put the grid. And it can be very, very handy indeed. Brilliant. There is little else to be said about this. As a product, Okay, it's limited because of its size, but to represent a small battle in small place, you know, it's perfect. It's absolutely fine. The quality is brilliant. The fact that it lays flat on the table is fantastic. I like that a tongue and a half. And the, the idea that you can just take it anywhere, it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful there is only one thing one thing i can think of that would make this just perfect if at the back it had some sort of adventure so for instance uh, if we take a look we have a number of maps now 
I don't know if these maps are interconnected, if this is meant to be a beginning to end. I don't know this. I'm just meant to be using these maps as, you know, they fit my campaign and my adventures or not. But if it was a beginning to an end, so this would be the entrance to the cave or the dungeon or the castle or the manor or the cemetery or the whatever it is, and these were the end, and at the end you give me a few pre-gens characters for whatever game they chose to publish it that way, now we're talking. Because all of a sudden, with barely any preparation, I have an adventure in my pocket that I can run with next to no prep. Now, that would make this truly, truly special. As it stands, it's a wonderful little thing, but you will need to adapt your campaign, your adventure, your locations, your whatever to it. But in this game with an adventure, there will be absolutely zero excuses not to get it. Not that you will have many not to get this. This is very good. This is seriously good. But yeah, give me characters. Give me encounters. And um, I tell you, this, one every month or two months, and you have a subscriber. I'm very impressed with this. Love it. Truly, truly love it. So yes, this is certainly worth the amount of money you have to pay to get your hands on it. Thank you so much for being there. Please do let me know what you think, because I'd love to hear your opinions. Uh, but until the next time, stay safe, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care.